And welcome back, guys. We're going to be doing some more Dying Light 2, Staying Human. We're going to be doing some side quests. Uh, we're going zone by zone, trying to clear out the quests, and we're just kind of ignoring the challenges for now. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Let's get into doing some more gameplay of Dying Light 2. Strange that someone would put a reading chair next to a scarecrow. Oh, and here's the glitter. One little girl's gonna be pleased. your glitter, Gabrielle. Oh, thank you, young man. Here, take this for your trouble. Hey, your scarecrow wasn't doing a good job. Wasn't protecting any crops, and there was a reading chair next to it. A reading chair? Then it was doing the job it was designed for. Keeping someone company. It's what most people use them for these days. No kidding. Would you like me to make a scarecrow for you? No, thanks. Oh, stop with the false modesty. I'll make one anyway. You'll change your mind when you see it. Like here, the butcher's men are high on some kind of weird drug. Good seeing you. <sighs> <sighs> golden rule of surviving don't trust anyone that too but there's an even more reliable adage you're slow you're dead a night runner told me that years ago and damn he was right you knew a night runner yeah dated him even but we split up i couldn't keep up with him <laughs> get it 
Yeah, shit happens. I mean, have you ever seen a vigilante and a pumpkin farmer form a healthy relationship? Anyway, you're this pilgrim that just came to town, aren't you? I heard that you're a hell of a runner and a climber. Ooh, guilty, Your Honor. Well, maybe you can make use of this thing my boyfriend left at my house. A Night Runner's journal. It's got a map of the Night Runner's lethal challenge. He designed it. Man, was he proud. Most just couldn't hack it, breaking their arms and legs all the time. Nothing made the fucker happier. I'm guessing he was the course champion? Obviously. And I'm guessing you'd never do half as good as him. But if you look over his sketches, you could certainly learn a lot. He had some badass moves and he documented them all. So, were you just giving me the journal? You can have it, but only if you have the guts to challenge and beat the track yourself. Me, people will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Slowpoke, what's your problem? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're faster than a rocket. Let's find out. What are you babbling about? A wager. Race you to the roof. Bet you I can get there before you. Unless you're afraid of losing. Wouldn't blame you if you were, Slowpoke. Sorry, kid. I don't have time to play. Ooh, you are afraid, ain't you, Slowpoke? So, have you grown a pair or what? Ready to race? Not sure. I could use some extra cash. That's the spirit, Slowpoke. Ready to show me what you got? First, run through the old GRE dog zone and reach the roof. Follow the sign. What? What sign? Telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. I was going to try the quest, but I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Stop fucking with me!
Last month their shelf Forty-seven. Wait, what? Fifty-five minus eight is forty-seven. Oh, a smart alley, are ya? Well, for me, that's one jar less, so there you friggin' go. No need to be so pleased with yourself. You need more jars? There are no more jars, wise ass. Why do you think I'm sulking over the eight I lost? The problem with people is that they take things for granted. Things like glass. It's been around for ages, made from a naturally abundant material. Sand. Sand! Add soda, ash, and limestone, and presto. You have glass. Friggin' simple as that. Not anymore, it isn't. You bet. Not with the industry dead and transportation between settlements non-existent. So, I guess you can't afford to break any more jars. And that's exactly what my boys have been excelling at lately. Look, I know it's not easy to clamber around the city with jam on your back, but I mean, there has to be someone who can do it without falling and breaking a jar. Or am I asking too much? It depends on who you ask. Well, I'll be damned. You're cocky, and you got balls. Jar's on the table if you're ready for the challenge. Feeling that there's no one left in the city. Problems? Oh, yeah. Big ones. Did you know Amir? A skinny, always grinning teenager? He's dead. I know, it's not unusual these days, in a bad way. But I thought this particular boy was classically immortal. And then... Will you help me? Right, with what? Something Amir used to do? Yes. He handed out field reports to cadets for their survival training. Uh, survival training? Cadets must spend the night outside the security zones beginning on their own. To keep from exposing them to unnecessary danger, we collect data from our patrols. Amir would deliver these field reports to the cadets. Will you do this in his stead? I'll do my best. Thank you, Aiden. The main thing is not to mix up the order or else the cadets could get into trouble. Drop it in their lockers on your way, they'll check in later. Check the route and distribution sequence on the table. Then hurry. They must receive the most up-to-date field information possible. Godspeed, Aiden.
People will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts.
So we have successfully cleared this entire zone over here. We know that these are all parkour challenges, like stuff that you have to do in a certain time frame. And we're not going to do those. But 
we are gonna go over here real quick and try to get this quest and maybe this one maybe even to unlock this area the idea is to go over zone by zone and do the ones that we can do and the things that are challenges we could maybe talk about doing that later on or maybe not even doing them at all uh, I'm gonna go over here next baby steps Thanks. My name's Wash. Aiden. How noble of you, saving an enemy. What are you doing here? I'm afraid that's top secret. So you're a spy. Should I warn the locals about you? All right, I'll tell you. It's a secret, just not a military secret. I was supposed to meet a girl here, from the bazaar. Don't see anyone here. Looks like she stood you up. This wasn't a date. We wanted to leave the city, get beyond the walls. Yeah, it's not that easy. We would find a way. Why do you want to leave? Chloe's had enough of there being shortages of everything at the bazaar, especially water. But the bazaar has water now. Chloe doesn't know that yet. She lives outside the bazaar. Then just go to her and check. I will. And can I ask you a favor, to save time? I'll go to Chloe's place. Can you go to her friend Liz's? Chloe's always over there. She lives at 25 Wuthering Mews, third floor, above the old vegetarian restaurant. It's near the clinic. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Let me know over the radio when you get there. Damn it. The infected made it inside.
I'm looking for Chloe. What for? She's not here. Wash. Chloe's not here. She's not at home either. Aiden, she must be at Liz's. I don't know where else she could be. So you're going somewhere? None of your business. Chloe's gone. Like, gone, gone. Got it? Tell Wash to just forget about her. Chloe's left without him. Left? Or about to leave with you, I gather. Maybe. But why leave? There's water again. Yesterday they were fighting over water. Tomorrow it'll be another thing. Blood's always flowing here. We've had enough. We want to try somewhere else. We, that is, you and Chloe. So what about Wash? Wash? He was just our ticket out, that's all. Now he can fuck off. There was nothing I could do, Chloe. Wash? Chloe! Wait, so that's Chloe? I'm a grunt. No one told me what was going to happen. Please, don't leave without me. Let me go with you, the three of us. Liz won't agree. So convince her. Aiden, come on, say something, please. You've been outside. You know how things are beyond the walls. All right, Wash is right, Chloe. Only the three of you together stand any chance of surviving. Liz won't agree. He's a peacekeeper. Not anymore. He wants to desert. For you. I think that means something. Don't you? I know you don't want me, but I want to defend you. That's all. Fine. The three of us will go. Liz is taking care of some last business at the bazaar. She'll be here soon. I'll finish packing for her. We can wait here for her. I'll leave you alone. Be careful, outside the walls. I'm glad you changed your mind. Just don't make me regret this. for the Sparker card? What are you looking for on Sparker? What do you mean? Well, you know, some people are only here for one reason. All 
It'd be nice to meet someone, you know, become friends, and then... We'll see. That's how you think of me? That's kind of cute. Maybe we can go for a walk? Uh, uh, well, listen. Would you mind watching my son sometimes? His name's Jacob. Wait, what? Wouldn't you like to spend some time with him? Thirteen-year-olds aren't that bad. It's the best age, actually. You could show him some parkour tricks, some combat. You know, Jake could use a father figure. Wait, hold up. You're on Sparker because you're looking for a babysitter? He's not a baby. Haven't you been listening? Anyway, I told you I got this job on a farm. So what would you say to a bag of potatoes per hour? I'm sure you've got a great kid, and hell, I'd even like to help you, but there's just too much going on with me right now, okay? Sure, Aiden, I get it. Good luck with all that. Fuck me, people will always complain. Watch yourself, you hear? Don't look like much of a simple. Yeah. Hi. Well, aren't you... Aren't you Vinny? Haven't I seen you with Juan? Are you here for the Sparker card? No. I'm pretty sure I... OMG, listen. I value discretion. You must be new on Sparker. What happens on Sparker stays on Sparker. You seem more talkative than you were around Juan. Oh my god, uh, can we please not talk about him? I'm a serious person, okay? Not Juan's fuckboy. Okay, okay, I, I just want... I'm not his plaything. 
I'm not a pushover. Nobody bosses me around. No, I, I never said you... Why are you being so rude to me? Wait, rude? I... Uh, uh, sorry about that. You know how to apologize. Extra points for that. What are your hobbies? Well, um... I like to... You know, I treat Sparker meetings just as seriously as when I meet someone in a bar. With respect. You know? <laughs> but then again, I am who I am. <laughs> if you can't stand me at my worst, you certainly don't deserve me at my best. Oh. I like talking to you. Listen, Vinny, I, I think I... I think I left a bucket of water on the street. Like, I gotta go. I didn't want to hook up with you anyway. Hm. I wonder what happened to Japan. They were the first to go dark in 23. <laughs> Hey, well, you look happy. Oh, what is happiness if not a disease of fools? Uh, you lost me on that one. Wait, you seem like a man of power. Do you wish to possess the world's most powerful weapon? The world's most powerful weapon? <laughs> okay, what is it? You will see with your own eyes. I will give you its location, and in return... You will give me all your money. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what is money compared to such a priceless thing? It buys me food and drink, keeps me from starving. I can go on. Fine. Two hundred and a money-back guarantee. And if you do not value the weapon as I have, I shall return your money. Will you accept my challenge? Okay, I'm in. Look for chests hidden on the old overpass overlooking East Horseshoe and the roof of the office building close by. The last one you open will contain the world's most powerful weapon. Search and you shall find it. Shit, this won't be easy. under a glass ceiling somewhere on Old Mount Street. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this back up in a second here. We'll go finish this quest off. Uh, the idea right now that we're doing is we're cleaning zone by zone so we've already been here we know that this is all parkour challenges here pretty much and uh, we're not doing parkour challenges so now we've already gone through this area we know that there's a parkour challenge there yes i get to zoom in here it'd be nice so when we come back we're going to do this real quick search the overpass or underpass then we'll go over here yeah, I don't see anything more that we need to uncover in this area over here. I don't see any dark zones that we need to go into. I'll probably go over here and resupply at some point. And I think the next... I think we're done in this area. After we do this quest here. Then it's time to move on to this partial part of the city. Go check out what this quest is. Maybe try the paragliding uh, challenge. I don't see any, I see a dark zone right there that we need to do, but I'm probably going to have to sleep here and then power and glide over. It's the only way I could think of to get over there. Okay. Don't see anything really in this area. Book club is a side quest we can do. Yep. 
We're running thin on things we can do. Only things really I love to do are the parkour challenges. This one's bugged out. Ah, getting close to pressing that reset button and doing gameplay number two through here. Very, very close. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.